All right, what's up, guys? So this is episode eight of Real Paranormal Stories. Like I said, we're gonna go between ten and twelve episodes this season. So we'll definitely finish this season before the end of the year. So we'll have two seasons under the belt and all that stuff. So yes, today's episode I'm going to talk about the story from from Jamie. So so she was around, I want to say, twelve. City that I live in. Um, she left when she was 14. So it was around one to two years before she left. So she was, it was late. It was late at night. It's around one o'clock. This is during, uh, I think, like Thanksgiving break. It was snowing outside. It was, it was great. But so she left the room. She shower got out she comes into the room all of her blankets and stuff are on the floor which very weird she never did that so she doesn't really think anything about it she thinks that oh possibly I could have done something or, or something like that so she puts them back on she she goes downstairs, gets something to drink, because she likes to get a glass of water, put it next to uh, her nightstand, and then you know, go to sleep. Um, which, anybody that can just go to sleep without having to take um, like NyQuil or Sleep Aid or something like that, I, I am so jealous of you, because I, I haven't been able to do that since I slipped on the ice in 2011. And, uh, I have chronic pain now. I can't, I, I can't go to sleep naturally at all. Um, unless I stay up at night. Up all night, which I haven't done that in two years, almost three years. Maybe even more than that. So, yeah. But, so, she gets something to drink. When she comes upstairs, all the blankets are on the floor again. So, very weird now. So, she... She does have a sibling. A younger um, sister... And basically, so she would have been 12 here. They are two years apart. So she would have been 10. So she thinks that it's her. So she says, hey, did you do that? She says, no. So she asked her parents. They say no. So when she comes back in, now everybody is in the room. Everybody is in, basically, um, parents are about to go to bed. Um, uh, her sister uh, is also in the parents' bedroom. They're all talking about if anybody did it and all that stuff. So everybody's in the room. So she goes out the room. Remember, everybody's in the room. She goes out the room and she goes in there. All the blankets are back on the floor again, even though everybody was in the room and she was also in the bedroom. So it's impossible. So she gets really scared now. So they check everywhere. They check if anybody's in the house. All that stuff. So they get... Uh, the dad gets a baseball bat because they don't believe in guns. So uh, gets a baseball bat. goes everywhere. Um, it's kind of like in the haunting episode where uh, the everything was dark and they had to um, turn on all the lights. And it's kind of like when they're like searching and all that stuff and they all go down the basement nothing's down there so nothing's everywhere she put the blankets back up on her bed before they start searching everywhere um oh wait no no they put they kept the blankets there this is the scariest part so they go upstairs they all go and check in the bedroom again just to make sure if there's nothing there when they go check in the bedroom, all the blankets are now back on the bed. Which is, whew, beyond, beyond creepy. So, yeah, uh, that happened actually, I have to ask her, but I think that happened on five different occasions all throughout um, her life. It started at 12, and it happened about four months ago. So, very weird. Um, Never really heard of that before. I've heard of things being 
moved from one place to another and all that stuff, but not that many times in one very short time period. So, yeah. But that is about it. So, next week will be episode 9. I already have um, who I want to talk about their story next. I already have that set up, so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.